What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be checking out a pretty cool nano speaker with an interesting name. Now it is called Freck by iWalk and I've done some iWalk products on the channel before and so far they've been doing pretty pretty good so I'm pretty sure these will do good as well. Now I was able to get this for $29.99 and if you guys are in the US you can pick it up at any iMobile Sprint store. Now if I do find a link online I will post it in the description below and it does come in three colors we have the blue it does come in a red as well as a black so pretty cool speaker can't wait to check it out let's jump into the unboxing all right so here i have the blue one here now if you guys pick up the red one or the black one the box will also match the color of the speaker so i have the blue one here now the front of the box you of course you see the speaker the naming and the branding of the speaker to the side here we have the speakerphone memory card playback so you do have that feature and the true 3d stereo sound this side just have some barcode to their website and their facebook page ultra portable tws bluetooth speaker and in the back here we have small body big volume great things do come in small packages bluetooth speaker all metal body true 3d um, stereo sound pair two mini speaker which i was pretty impressed by hands-free call multi playback modes and easy to carry and then just gives you a little um i, I guess at the bottom of the speaker but we'll take a look at that in a few all right so that's pretty much the box let's pop it open see what we get inside you have the speaker oh, get all the all these little stuff out we don't need this bam bam all right so of course we get our charging cable which is a micro usb pretty standard for these um portable mini speakers that i've seen recently you do have a little um i guess a little lanyard which you can hook to the bottom of the speaker right there then of course we have a little quick start guide slash user manual. You guys can go ahead and read this if you want to, but the speaker is actually pretty easy to set up. All right. Now I also have a second one here. So I do have the red one because you know, black, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what the color black is, at least on a portable speaker. So I just picked up the red and the blue one here and yeah, they're pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at the actual speaker. Now, the speaker is body, the body's all metal, which just give you the feeling of a high quality speaker. And for $29.99, I was pretty impressed that they were able to give us a metal body. So the speaker grill is at the top, which means the speaker is facing upwards and the grill is also metal, guys. That's pretty nice. Um, nice shiny design with the, with the little chrome line accents all, all along the top right there. And you can hear that it's, it is metal. All right, to the bottom here, we have the little um, hole for the lanyard. We do have the micro USB slot as well as the memory card slot. Now, do keep in mind, you can't use um, any memory card. Um, nothing too extreme, um, as basic as you can with the memory card. And you don't want to get anything more than 32 gigs. Now, once you plug it in there, um, you're not going to have controls in terms of skipping the track. So, you know, do make sure you kind of list your songs accordingly to how you want them to play. Because once you put it in there and hit play, it's just going to just play from the first all the way to the last song. And then, of course, we have the power on and off button, which I will press right now. And then at the bottom here, we have the little um, ring of LEDs, which does light up blue. And I believe in pairing mode. And you press it again to turn off. And in pairing mode, it just still continues to um, flash um, between blue and, and off. And that's pretty much the speaker. Let me go ahead and grab my phone and we will pair these bad boys up. Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and grabbed my beautiful S9 Plus and we're going to do the pairing. So what you want to do is... There we go. That bad boy is on. We're going to turn on Bluetooth. Now, you're going to see the flashing blue, of course. And I'm just going to go all the way down to my Bluetooth. It should come up as Freck. There we go. We're going to pair up the Freck. There we go. And easy pairing, guys. All right. So I'm going to go over to some cop non-copyright music. And let me zoom in a little bit. And we'll just kind of hear how this pretty awesome little Freck speaker sound. So I'm going to go over to my actual music because I do have some non-copyright tracks in here. Here we go, here we go. Let's hit this one. Now that is at about 
about 50% volume on the S9. Now the speaker in itself does not have its own volume control, so all your control will be doing from your device. And you guys can hear it sounds pretty dope. Okay, we're gonna go it up a little bit, so we're gonna go up to 75%. There we go. That's pretty hot. Now it is a pretty small speaker guys, just to give you guys a quick size comparison, here's some earpods, at least the case for it, pretty common accessory, it's actually shorter than the earpods case, and the thickness is not that bad, here's a quarter, That's the thickness of the speaker, guys, just to give you guys some perspective with this quarter right here. Hopefully that helps. Alright, so far so good. Sounds pretty nice. It's not too flat, it's not too bass heavy, just pretty good. Alright, we're gonna work our way up to 100% volume now. Oh, we're not at 100%. Now we're at 100%. Alright, so it sounds pretty good, guys, as you guys can hear. Um, now, obviously, it would be good if you guys can actually hear it in person. And I can tell you this, it does sound pretty good for the size of it. It is not flat like you would think in a speaker like this. Um, and it's not too bass heavy as well. This actually has a pretty good um, blend between the two. So a thumbs up in my book. So, yeah. Single speaker sounds awesome. Now let's try out the double pairing, guys. The TWS feature of the speaker, because that will give you just greater sound quality and a more 360 experience. So here I have both of the speakers again, and let's do the TWS connection. Now, according to the instructions, it seems pretty simple. You power them both on, just like that. And then you double press on whichever speaker you want to act as the main speaker. So we're going to do the red one. So one, two. There we go. And then it should make another sound. Pretty soon. There we go, guys. So once you get that sound, you are connected. At least or, or both of the speakers are connected. You then want to go ahead and grab your device. I'm going to bring in the S9 Plus again. Turn on your Bluetooth. Go to the bottom. It should find one. There we go. So we have Freck right there. Then it should connect like it did with the single speaker. Boom. Let's go back to my tracks. And there we go, guys. As simple and easy as that, guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Now we are at... There's the volume right there. And we're just going to go all the way up, guys. Because you want to kind of hear the power of the speakers. All right, some bad speakers, guys. Sounds pretty nice. They're clear. Not too bass heavy. Treble's pretty cool. All right, and you got a nice little stereo sound going here. All right, let's try something else. So this one is a little loud, so be warned. Once it picks up, it's, it's a pretty loud tune. And there you have it guys, these speakers sounds good, they're tiny and you can pair two of them together. For 60 bucks you can have a pretty cool sounding experience and these are so tiny you can literally just push them in your pocket or just put it in a backpack and take them with you. And with that, that's where I'm going to end the video, hopefully you guys enjoy this Freck iWalk Bluetooth speaker. And until next time guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.